Okay, let's try this again, this time with the microphone, not on pause. <laughs> this is the review of the PERFORM qualitative risk analysis of the 6th edition of the PMBOK from the crowd training and part of the PM City course. And this, as we've already gone through <laughs> and we've learned about this process, let's review the inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques of it so that we can uh, give you a good reminder. So we talked about the inputs, the inputs being well, primarily, as always, the project management plan. I like to draw it as a big file folder because it is like a bunch of different plans that are all used. Yes, you are primarily going to think about the risk management plan, but there are other plans that are also just as useful, you know, things like quality, because the quality, how you manage the quality or the resources or the stakeholders could also influence then how you go about analyzing the risks. So the project management plan is definitely an input. Also, you're going to use a variety of project documents, but really, for the most part, that is going to be your risk register because that risk register has the identified risks on it, maybe some categorization, maybe some even um, a listing of who is the owner of it or who f discovered it, who raised it. You can also have something like the risk, I'm sorry, the stakeholder register, assumption log, and some other documents. That's all going to be useful in helping us analyze the risks. And as I've always said, we are a product of the environment or industry that we are working in for our project. That is going to very much input or impact how we go about analyzing the risk. Maybe our organization is very risk adverse and every risk is considered major and has a different approach than somebody in a startup company that views things much differently. So the enterprise environmental factors are going to be an influence as well as useful tools and, t and templates and techniques and uh, documents or whatever else we might have at our disposal but organizational process assets that could help guide us or or direct us or be useful for in our ability to handle and carry out this process. So those are the inputs. Now let's explore a bunch of tools and techniques. As we know, the perform qualitative risk analysis means you're qualitative. So it is a lot of subjectivity. It's a lot of thoughts, a lot of opinions. So you might think about things uh, and, and those risks maybe you've seen the risks before or maybe from um, your education or your experience your background or um, what's already happened in this project or going to be happening or you've seen it before or whatever the case may be but there's going to be a lot of dependency on you your team your experts all these different opinions and backgrounds and educations experience they're going to have judgments it's going to sometimes just rely on judgment calls and our viewpoints on things <clears throat> but the more information you have the better so as you collect information as the project is advancing you're going to have reports to to look at and and sometimes you need to ask questions and and things like interviewing or just observing or viewing or knowing or or seeing things so <clears throat> there could be different kinds of ways to gather data to make more educated decisions so you're not fully relying on own personal judgment and when you get that information too you have to make sense of it right you have to dig into it and look at it and and see what it means so you have data analysis but I'm also going to write down too your data representation because you have to represent that information in one way because when you're analyzing it you're you're taking the information that's being gathered and you're trying to you know look at the good and the bad and the impacts for it um, you know what could go right what could go wrong um, whatever the case might be and so at the same point or or afterwards or as you're communicating to others you probably need many different ways to represent that data maybe it's a probability and impact matrix or it could be you know pictures like this is good <laughs> this is bad <laughs> however you want to represent that information to make sense of it maybe it's your team maybe you're trying to get uh, expert judgments from outside of your organization or maybe you're communicating to customers or even to your sponsorship um, 
And also too, you can also try to categorize this or put it in groups. So risk categorization could help you, you know, with maybe different groupings and have a risk breakdown structure or um, you know, maybe based on a, a, a part of the project, like a phase or a resource that's being used or an, a vendor or team. And then obviously we're going to have to discuss this over and over again. We're going to have meetings and conversations and presentations that will be um, laid out, discussed, and, and hopefully help us come to this point where we can best analyze things. All right, and that skill set then with the meetings and really all throughout as you're gathering the data and using this information or, or getting what you need is your interpersonal skill sets. And it's not just oops, your skill set, but it's all the skill sets of your team. You know, the um, so I'll also write down team skills because it is <clears throat> the the ability to negotiate or talk or empathize or listen and and ask the right questions and and you know keep asking questions so that you can get to more clear information or analyze things a little deeper and getting the right people to speak up when they should be speaking up and not standing quietly all right lots of different tools and techniques and it all gets easier because the outputs is just one because as I mentioned this register at the beginning we are going to be trying to use all this tools and techniques and everything else to help us elaborate and add more and expand on these identified risks based on our our identification of how good or bad or how impactful whatever the case might be now yes there could be other documents that are also updated but really the output is your project document updates and that is a quick review of the inputs outputs tools and techniques of the perform qualitative risk analysis from the crowd training and when we do the quantitative risk analysis you'll see pretty simple and similar if though the, the the methodology might be slightly different but that is the review of this process